For those of you writing in right now, um, our team is looking for a location to place an instrument on the hydrothermal chimney known as Boardwalk, part of the Endeavor segment of the Juan de Fuca Ridge off the coast of Vancouver Island, Canada. Lawrence, can you tell us a little bit about what this, um, this instrument measures? It measures the temperature of the fluid coming out of the hydrothermal vent. And it also measures the resistivity of that fluid, which tells us about uh, how much chloride there is in the fluid. Yeah, and chloride is really will. important we because that the tells us the metal carrying capacity of the fluid. The higher the chloride content, the more iron and copper and things the fluid will be carrying. Uh, that's really interesting. So the chloride actually bonds with those transition metals, or um, it, it creates some sort of other species that allows them to dissolve better. Yep, the, the metals are carried as um, metal chloride species within the fluid. Uh, so the total uh, chloride is the main anion in the fluid. So all these cations, the metal cations, have to be charged on. And so the total abundance of cations is largely controlled by the amount of chloride in the fluid. That's really interesting. That, oh, that, 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 Grows back really quick. Yeah, that's, okay. that's like maybe three days worth of growth. Yeah, it grows back really quick. <laughs> it, it's actually amazing how quickly it grows back. And uh, if we're gonna come and put that probe in, I guarantee it's, it's gonna be more excavated than that. Yeah, it did. <laughs> uh, Jim last year with a different ROV sort of picked one off, and it was amazing how much the flow increased. This is um, hydrothermal vent fluid escaping from just below the surface at an area of seafloor spreading west of Vancouver Island where the Juan de Fuca plate and the Pacific tectonic plate are separating. And all sorts of superheated water under great amounts of pressure over 300 degrees C come up out of the ocean floor here. Um, and as the waters cool, they precipitate lots of different uh, elements that are in the, lots of different minerals that are in the water. And that's what forms these really interesting formations.